Welcome back to Fast Gadgets. Um, if you watched my last video, you know that I recently received a uh, MacBook Pro 2008, and it's in pretty good condition. It had a single dent, not a big deal. Um, what I'm going to do in this video, since I do plan on taking the computer and using it at work um, when I'm teaching, um, I want to put in... Um, the RAM that I purchased and the new battery because the battery is completely dead. So I'm going to do that today and power it back up. Make sure everything's still working. Make sure that it can actually count up the RAM. The RAM it has in it right now is two gigabytes, which is really fine. But um, I bought six gigabytes and I'm hoping that it's going to work perfectly fine. All right. So here is the MacBook Pro 2008. Um, I know the battery's dead. The previous user told me the battery is completely dead. And in the operating system in Mac OS X, it's easy to verify. Um, I checked the battery and it said it wasn't charging and to replace now. So I'm just going to pop out the current battery. <clears throat> and I've already removed the screws for the memory plate uh, because I'm going to replace the memory as well while I'm here. Um, the memory I have is six gigabytes, and as you know from my previous video, if you watched it, I ordered a set of memory that is supposed to be compatible with Mac, and I've heard that these systems can go up to six gigabytes. So I really like to get all that six gigabytes of use if I could. I've also heard that in order to do that, you have to have a newer version of the OS. And I'm actually on 10.6, so I'll have to do an update. <clears throat> but I'm going to pop out the older RAM. If I can, one-handed. see if I can do this. And I'm definitely going to hang on to the older RAM because you never know what's going to happen. I'd hate to say that it's not going to work, but computers, you just never know. I always tell my students computers are like cats. They're persnickety, and you can never guarantee their behavior. I'm going to pause for just one minute so I can do this two-handed. Okay, so I got the old RAM out, and I'm going to open up the new RAM. I don't know if anybody's bought this memory before. If you have, let me know. Tell me what you think and how it worked out for you. I want to make sure I get the stick in the right way and that it's in nice and tight. <clears throat> Ram stick number two. there and I want to hear that satisfying click so I know it's in place give it a little push and I'm gonna put the plate back on unfortunately my worst fear came true I actually lost one of the screws so I'm down to two until I can get a replacement screw which I will have to do Probably should not have been doing this on my lap. That's probably one thing I should have considered before I started. But I guess you work with the tools you have. However, if I was actually dismantling this laptop head to toe, uh, like I will need to do when I put the hard drive in, and considering the fact that it has a large den in the side, I'm definitely going to take my time and um, use a horizontal surface instead of my lap.
tiny little screws. And I want to make sure that it threads correctly. There we go. Yikes. Get them in there snug, but not too tight. Then, <clears throat> as I mentioned in my unboxing, um, so the original battery is bad. Um, and I have a replacement here. It's a $25 battery. And I know other YouTubers have said there are problems with some of these really inexpensive, cheap batteries. And I'm going to keep a good eye on this battery, uh, this new one. Watch for bulges or any kind of odd behavior charging problems. Um, this battery was only $26. There are more expensive batteries that you can get. And honestly, I probably should have considered that. But I'm going to go with what I've got here. So what's interesting about this third-party battery... Uh, it's a K-Star replacement for 15-inch rechargeable. This bottom plate is plastic, so it's not aluminum <laughs> like the Mac battery is. And uh, it's lighter. That is also concerning. <laughs> I guess we'll see how it goes. So if I press the button... I get um, somewhat of a charge, which is good, so I can at least test it out right away. Um, so I'm going to place the battery in. Oh, snapper into place, I hope. Maybe not. Uh, once again, I'm going to have to two-hand this. It doesn't want to fit quite as good as the original. Well, that was quite a booger to get in, but I was actually able to get the battery uh, to go in. Uh, the latches did not want to secure, so I had to work on that to get it to secure. Uh, Color-wise, it looks great. It matches. Uh, it has a partial charge, so me being me, I'm going to go ahead and flip the unit back over. And I'd like to see if it can boot up right from the battery. If it can, of course, I've got the power supply here. Once it starts booting, I think I will probably plug back in the power supply. So let's see what we've got. I'm going to hit the power button. And I hear the smart drive. Get the bong immediately. And we are booting up. We have the Apple logo. I think I'll just leave it run on the battery for right now. Until I can get logged in. And we'll take a look and see how much power we have remaining. The screen on this MacBook Pro is in beautiful shape. It's just, considering that it's got <laughs> a huge dent... Um, there isn't one scratch on the screen, but you can see over here in the corner, there definitely is a dent. Uh, let's do... About this Mac. And more info. Now, other people who are extremely good at OSX knows where everything is. Uh, oh, that's right. I never even went in here last time. I just clicked here. And right now we have two hours, 10 minutes remaining. Power source is the battery. Um, Seems to be working fine. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi okay. Let's see if we can get on the internet here. And I'm going to plug in 
the charger. I'd like to see if the charger will actually begin charging. And we went red, orange, whatever you want to call it. So far, so good. Um, I'm really impressed with this unit. Um, I was an, under the impression it was going to come with Yosemite, but not an issue whatsoever. I could do that myself. Matter of fact, I'll probably just go to El Capitan. And you can see that I now have 6 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm pretty excited. Looks like the RAM is working out. Um, I have another MacBook Pro uh, as well as this one and also a MacBook Air. That is my wife's. So I'll be doing some benchmarking between these three units and experimenting with it. But I have to say, the screen is just beautiful. One of the things that I'm going to talk about in the upcoming videos is uh, why would you buy a computer that's this old? Well, that's a good question. I mean, if you think about it, yeah, the computer's old, but it, it's able to do everything you need it to do um, and certainly more than powerful enough for what most modern users uh, do with their computers. So I bought a battery for $26. Whoops, I actually meant to go to news.com. There we go. And I have another upgrade that I'm going to be doing, which is an SSD, and I'll document that as well. But for a few hundred dollars, I've got a really nice computer that can do everything I need it to do. Um, <clears throat> I can experiment with OS X, learn everything I want to learn about it, become more proficient with it. And I haven't spent $1,500 for a brand new MacBook. And quite frankly, I love the design of these older MacBooks. They're beautiful, even with a dent in the side. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully you'll subscribe. Uh, if you have comments, leave some down below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video.